For many in the Philippines, food is best served fast, cheap and in the style of their former American colonial rulers. Diabetes, obesity and other diseases linked to a poor diet are on the rise and foreign visitors regularly complain that Philippine cuisine lacks the wow factor seen in other parts of Asia. Cloud Tayag is on a mission to change the way people think about Filipino food, both at home and abroad. It's like we're fast losing traditional way of, uh, of our, our traditional ways in, in, terms of, uh, in terms of food, with the onslaught of these uh, fast foods, the malls and all that, you know, the American lifestyle. An artist and a chef, Cloud has turned his rustic home in Pampanga, the country's culinary capital, into an informal restaurant where lunchtime extravaganzas are a celebration of slow-cooked Philippine food. From seafood cooked in a thick peanut sauce to fresh inland salads dressed with salted duck's eggs, the 10-course meal takes diners on a mouth-watering tour around the Southeast Asian archipelago, and he is winning new fans for Philippine food, one dish at a time. Yeah, it exceeded all my expectations, super good, better than I expected. <laughs> with bookings often having to be made well in advance, Cloud's home has become one of the Philippines' hottest dining experiences. Across the country, other signs of a growing pride in Philippine cuisine are quietly emerging in the shadows of the junk food culture. Food bloggers are on the rise, and a growing middle class is increasingly passionate about homegrown table fare. I love Filipino food. Um, if you guys don't know what Filipino food is or haven't tried Filipino food, it's your loss. But if Cloud and other cuisine crusaders have their way, the Philippines will eventually join the likes of Thailand and Malaysia as one of Asia's famed food destinations.